Quinnipiac University surveyed a random sample of 1,125 registered voters nationwide. One question was, would you support or oppose raising the national minimum wage to $50 an hour? 54% responded to support. Support. Is this evidence at the 5% level of significance that the majority, more than 50%, of the adult population living in the United States supports raising the national minimum wage to $15? So first of all, let's make a note of a couple things. Sample size, 1,125, that's right there. 54%, uh, that's the sample proportion, 0.54. Uh, this is going to be the null uh, hypothesis value right there. 5% is alpha, that's the level of significance. All right, let's go to the worksheet. Step one is write your null and alternate hypothesis. So the null is always P equals something, let's write down H sub zero, P equals 0.50. Um, the alternate is what we suspect to be true. The question was uh, about a majority. Majority means more than 50%. So the alternate is that P is more than 50%. And P would be the population of, of all the adults in the United States. All right, that's step one. Obtain and collect the sample data. So check your conditions. Is the sample random? Yes. Sampling distribution normal, well, is n times p not greater than 10? Well, yes, n times p from the null, n is 1,125 times 0 0.50, yeah, that's way more than 10. Same thing with n1 minus p. Okay, so now we're ready, so so that's, that's uh, checked off. So now we're ready to calculate the test statistics. So p hat, number of successes divided by n, well, in this case, p hat is just given to us. They divided for us, so 54%. Um, so now the test statistics. So it's p hat minus p from the null hypothesis. So z p hat, what, hold on here. That's 0.54 minus 0 0.50. So it's a four percentage point difference divided by the square roots of p from the null hypothesis times 1 minus p from the null hypothesis, which is also 0 0.50, divided by n, which was 1,125. So this, this denominator is your standard error. We want to know how far apart is the sample proportion from the null hypothesis in terms of standard errors. OK, let's, let's do a quick, OK, so. Um, on a calculator, I got 0 0.0149. That's that's the denominator. On top, we have 0 0.04. Um, and then divide that out. Let's just do that on a on a calculator real quick. 0 0.0149. All right, that equals 2.684. Six rounded, rounded off. All right. Now that is the the Z score or the test statistic, which means that this 54% is about 2.68 standard errors higher than 50%. So that's probably not due to random chance. It's it's probably really uh, the majority of the population. Uh, but anyway, let's let's continue here. So. Step three, the p-value. So there's a few different ways to get p-value. One is to go to the table, the standard normal curve table, look up, you have to round it off to uh, 2.68 to use the table. Or you can use on a spreadsheet the, the norm dist command or on a uh, TI calculator the normal CDF command and so on. However you get your answer is, is totally fine. I'll just use a table here. Um, I've just got a book. I'm just going to look it up here off, off video real quick. Um, oh, one more quick comment here. Um, let's draw a picture. Uh, my alternate hypothesis, let's go back, scroll up here for a second. My alternate hypothesis was a greater than. 
So that means it's a right tailed test. So when I look up the p-value, I need to look up the right side, right there. So if you're using a table, it might be easier to just look up negative 2.68 because that's how the table works. Um, anyways, negative two, so however you get it, it's about 0 0.0037 is my p-value from the, from the table. All right, now um, step four. Now that I've got my p-value, the level of significance was 0.05. Uh, the lower the p-value, the stronger the evidence. So that's really, really strong evidence. So I would say reject the null hypothesis. Um, and in conclusion, write in plain, in plain English. So I can say there is evidence based on this sample that the majority uh, supports raising the minimum wage to $15 an hour. That's it.